it's time to release NCAA's football, NCAA football 13's professor. Sorry, Cleveland. What well, Hugh Jackson is going to coach in college. Now, however, there is some good news here. The good news. The good news is Cleveland State does not have a team because they're not in Division One. So Cleveland, consider yourself lucky. All right, here we go. All right, let's check out the traditional picks. Nope. And geez, I didn't realize UCLA USC was ranked that high. UCLA. Two for UCLA. Okay. Let's see. Okay, just for curiosity, let's see where Marvin Lewis ended up. That would have been a two. Okay. Clemson. Two for Clemson. Okay. East Carolina. Two for East Carolina. Oh. Boy. FIU, the runner up in the last one. One year again. Oh. Man, the FIU really wants me to coach their team. Wants one of my characters to coach their team. Okay, three for Georgia. Here's what Georgia Tech has to offer. Two. Iowa State. Three for Iowa. Jeez. Curious for the head coach. That was two, and I'm guessing defense is probably the one. Nope, two. Man. One year for Louisville. Okay, one for FIU, one for Louisville. Three for Maryland. Three for Memphis. Four for the U. Jeez Louise. The cowbell? Three. One year for Navy. Alright, let's take a look. Two years for North Carolina. Let's see what Ole Miss had. The other runner up. Two. Pit, the actual choice I'm not going to choose. Good. It's only three. Rutgers. Three for them. San Jose State. Two. South Carolina. Three. Temple. Three. Two for Tennessee. Tech. Two for Tech. Toledo. Four for Toledo. I'm Tulane. One. There's another. I'm sure Tulsa's not going to offer a one. Yep, three. Two for UCF. Three for UC USF. Two for Utah. Two for Virginia. Three for Virginia. Two for the Cougars. Curiosity for the Huskies. Oh, one. Okay, okay. 
Okay. I'll be right back to, to make my decision. Okay, and an epic dough I missed moment. I accidentally hit the B button and hit A to, to leave, and it sent me back to the main menu. So, yep. Forget what you saw. It didn't exactly happen. Although, who knows? Maybe they actually get a couple of good slay of schools. The fact that FIU got one of your contracts twice already kind of makes me very interested here. All right, here we go. Let's see this again. Two years for USC, which is nice. UCLA, I bet I'm not. They're not gonna offer one. Whoa! That is very surprising. UCLA offered a one-year contract. Oh, they. Oh, oh, they have the one. It's clearly obvious. Washington doesn't have it. Yeah, so they're out. Maybe I maybe I'll do a road to glory with the Huskies. I don't know. Let's see what Cincinnati got this time. I doubt they got a one. Oh, oh they do! Holy shit! I could tor torment Cleveland. Some more. East Carolina. Two. Two years. Okay. I'm curious what FI if FIU got another one year. Nope, just as I thought too. They changed it good. All right, Georgia. Three. Georgia Tech. Three. Iowa State. Four. Oh, jeez. Jeez Louise, man. Maryland. Three. So that. All right. Miami. Three for the U. For Miami. Okay. The Cowbell. Three for Mississippi State. Okay. Maybe one of the other one-year contracts. Last time, three. So far, it's been only been UCLA and uh, Cincinnati. North Carolina. There we go. There's another one. One year for North Carolina. Notre Dame, I bet this one doesn't have a one. Yeah, two. Two for the Irish. Ole Miss. Four. Jeez. Pitt. I don't know. Nope. Whew. Hmm. Two. And we got to check Tulane because they were the other ones that had a one-year contract. Three for Tennessee. Tulane has a two-year now. Well, Tulsa has a three. Oh, boy. And UCF has a three as well. Oof, boy. This is going to be tough. Because on one hand, is this. UCLA has a 88. Cincinnati has an 84. Hold on, let me think. Okay, I think I made the decision. We have decided to send Hugh Jackson to Cincinnati. Yeah, Marvin Lewis left Cincinnati. Hugh Jackson is taking his place. And I can tell you ahead of time, the coach before the NCAA 14 is not Bill O'Brien. As much as you guys would like to see me make fun of him. All right, here we go. Let's begin with the Bearcats. Our quarterback is Tony James, 80 overall. Rodney Davis, 75. And Brian Thurman at 72. Running back, Leon Cox. Edward Cole, baby. Bob Cole, baby.
baby. Oh, are they related? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, interesting. And Lamont Wood. Fullbacks, Colin Utley. Well, the C. Utley, I thought it was Chase. Okay, so we need fullbacks. Wide receivers, Johnny Richardson, the star player, okay, 84. John Carlson, D David Rush, Cedric Cooper, Brandon Callahan, and Kevin Allen. Tight ends, Jesse Reed, Lonzo Gilmore, and uh, Paris Brantley. All right. Let's take a look at our uh, red shirts and let's see what we got. Okay, this one's obvious. We're shirting Brant. All right, set up the recruiting board, and I hit the thing, didn't I? Yep, and ooh, that is something I'm not gonna. Yeah, I think we may have to hit this for 14. Just a curious to see what we got. All right. Okay, I didn't hit the... Oh, setting it up. Okay. Let's see what we need. Oh, we just need a fullback. That's it. Interesting. Just need a fullback. That's pretty much it. All right. The school. Let's take a look. Although, this is what we got. Okay. Well, this is right where we are right now. Interesting. All right, schedules, let's see. First we got a bye, great start. Then we got Pitt to start off. Then we got NSCS, then another bye. Then we got Virginia Tech, oh boy. Then Miami, which, oh, they're both Ohio. Oh, okay, Miami of Ohio, Buh. Then an FCS again. Then Toledo, then Louisville, then Syracuse, then Temple, then Rutgers, UCF, and UConn to wrap up the season. Interesting. Can't wait to see the uniform designs for this game. All right. Now for 14 is going to be difficult because, because I don't know if any of my characters right now have ties to either school, so it's my job a lot harder. But we'll have to wait and see. And with that, here we are. We're about to begin the season. Which expect when the next episode of this kicks off, you bet your ass is going to be a short clip. But that's it. And with that, offensive coordinator for the Cincinnati Bearcats. With that, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.